actually see the top of this tree swaying under the backwash of the UFO. And if we look back at the very opening of this film, we will notice that there's a great deal of space between the UFO and the sky, making it very, very unlikely that it could be an object suspended on a string. And why is this film so, like, blurry and, like... Looks like an old film. I mean, what well, is it? it is an old film, shot in 1975 on a snowy and rainy day, according to Meyer, and shot from a distance. So what we're seeing here is uh, a, a rather poor quality film, to be sure, in calculating the distance. It's still there today. The tree is no longer there, as is the case in a, in a couple of uh, the other films and photographs that Meyer took. And what do we see here? Here is a clearer, a much clearer film segment that Meyer took with a UFO hovering above a road. And we can see a car moving slowly to the left in the bottom. Oh, yeah, of that this white frame. dot there, yeah. The white dot. We're going to see another one in a moment. We also notice that there is a tree branch with some leaves to the left. Meyer was encouraged oftentimes to have objects in the foreground for perspective and guidance. Here the craft is moved suddenly to the left and it's exhibiting a characteristic floating motion.